Today we're going to try and do Apple CarPlay and Dave's lent me his gold wing to see how easy it is. So let's give it a bash. To set up your Apple CarPlay, you need a headset, Bluetooth headset, an iPhone, a genuine iPhone lead and a gold wing. Here we go, let's set up the Apple CarPlay. Turn your ignition on, let your bike come into life. So for OK, you press Enter, and then you want to go to the Home button, and that takes you into the background where all your settings live. So we're going to go to Audio Settings, so I'm using the little wheel here, so you can turn it or you can just use it like a joystick and you press enter. We're going to go to Bluetooth settings, headset pairing, inquiry. Now before I press inquiry, I'm going to get my headset, which is turned on, see it flashing blue. And I'm going to press this bottom button here, which will make it go to Bluetooth pairing. There we go, so it's flashing, Bluetooth pairing. So now I press inquiry and we'll let it search for it. I don't know if you can see, but it's popped up in the bottom, slightly fuzzed out because this main screen's on. But weirdly enough, you've got to abort. You go down to your headset, press it again, and then you let it sync properly because it's still flashing, so it hasn't quite synced up yet. Right, and so device successfully paired. So you press OK. And if you see, there you go, it stopped flashing. So now, well, now everything's working because I've got my headset plugged in and it's Bluetooth set. So I'll hit the home button for now, which brings us out. Go to the back of the bike. You get your genuine Apple lead and you plug it into the little USB. That way round. There we go. And then we'll get the other end, plug it into my phone. Not easy when one hand's on your camera and one hand's trying to do that. That's it. Right, open your phone. There we go, so the Apple CarPlay is activated. As I said in the beginning, this is Dave's bike, so I'll only enable it once. I don't want to interrupt anything that he's got set up. There we go, we're in. There you go, there's your sat nav. There's your apps and if you had a text message you could just press enter and it would go in but obviously I don't want to go in because there's people's telephone numbers in there there we go and you can work it around all by this joystick here and we'll go back to the apps now, as we said this here moves it around your apps. I don't know if you can see it there. But also this one here does the same. Now the two little arrows that way moves you through your music and those two arrows there move it through the apps over there. Now weirdly enough, if you press down, it goes up. Hopefully you can see it doing its thing there. Now it's on phone and music and maps and messages. You can see it going through everything. Let's get ourselves back to where. And there it is there, playing the music. Now if I press enter, there you see it's starting to play. Dead easy. And if you want to come out, you use the little back button there. It's back to your apps. If you want to go back home, you press that and it takes you back to your settings. Once you've got your Apple CarPlay all set up, you've got a nice little cubby hole for your phone there. Because obviously once it's set up correctly, your phone can just live in the back of the bike and you work it all from the handlebars. I do hope this little bit of content has been useful on the Apple CarPlay worked on the Goldwing. If it has, don't forget the old thumbs up, greatly appreciated. 
and if you subscribe you get a bell that lets you know i've done more and as you can see there's a link so there's another one to watch enjoy and bye for now